Is Ben Milliken under or overrated as a professional bass fishing angler? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and thank you. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all the new members. Thank you to all the people who are interactive and comment. I know when I do this, I'm commenting because that's where my, my computer is. But thank you. Thank you for being part of the team and the family. I really do appreciate it. But if you're not a subscriber, you should be because I have a goal and I need your help to achieve that goal. So click that subscribe button. It's free and I really do appreciate it. Is Ben Milliken under or overrated as a professional bass fisherman? Now, I understand there are people that like him and people that are fan fanboys. I appreciate both of you. But we're going to look at Ben from a professional fishing angler. And I think when you look at his stats, it just says there's only one thing to the whole thing. Now, it isn't going to be my opinion. I'm going to read you stuff about him. And then you make the decision in the comments and just comment below over or under and why. Ben is without question, in my opinion, the biggest content creator out there. I know maybe the Guggen guys have more subscribers, but I think in terms of true fans and people who appreciate what Ben does, Ben is the biggest content creator out, hands down in period. You might not like his content, you might love his content, but what he does and how he's done it and how he has marketed and branded himself, he is the biggest person. And I've said this in the past, I don't know if Ben needs to be a professional angler because I think he is as big as Bass is at this point in time. I think Bass needs him more than he needs Bass. But that's not what we're going to talk about. We're talking about his professional clear over two years. Now, Ben's only been an elite angler for one year. He had a, This was his rookie year in 2024. He qualified his first season as in 2023. Let me repeat that. There are a lot of anglers that go through the gamut and try to qualify for the, the elites year after year after year. Ben did it in his first year. His first year, he qualified for the elites. Ben's known for his massive big bass. He's known as a scoper, but if you know Ben or have watched any of his previous year, a long time ago videos, Ben can catch fish with forward-facing sonar and without forward-facing sonar. Anyone who says that he only can catch them with technology is, you're just wrong. No offense, but you're wrong. This guy has, can't, I, excuse me, this man has caught them for years without forward-facing sonar, but he has dialed in technology to his advantage and now knows the technology as well as anyone. He might be considered a scoper, probably is but the dude can catch fish anywhere ben has only fished 19 bassmaster fishing tournaments he's had one classic appearance he is qualified for the 2025 classic and and he probably will be one of the favorites on lake conroe sorry truth that's what it is he probably will be one of the favorites he's great at fishing texas blakes and bonds just what it is. He's fantastic at it. It's where he's made his living. It's where he's made his bread and butter. And the classic being there is great for Ben. Ben has cashed in 11 out of 19 events. Now that includes his opens and that includes this year. He's had one third place. He's had five top 10s, five top 20s, and nine top 30s in his very short career as a Bassmaster Elite angler. And he's won in over two years, $181,000 in career earnings. And when you look at him from outside of a professional angler, and you look at him as a YouTuber and a content creator, he has over almost 600,000 YouTube subscribers and well over 100,000 Instagram anglers that follow him or fans. And when you look at all of the stats of Ben, not only does he own a portion of Sixth Sense and is a big marketing genius for Sixth Sense, and what he does online, is he over or underrated? Now, only take in for granted what he's done as a professional angler, the 181,000. 
the two classes, two classic appearances in two years. The qualifying, uh, finishing in the top 30 in Angler of the Year points on his first season on the Elites. Qualifying in one year from the Opens. Is he overrated or underrated? I know what I think. I want to know what you think. So comment below, over or under, and why. I really appreciate you watching the video. Thank you. Make sure you hit that uh, like and subscribe button and become part of the team. But take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will talk to you very soon. Cheers. Thank you. And tight lines.